So on Saturday, February 17th, we'll be doing a test performance of the brand new score of Porgy and Bess. It's a fantastic opportunity and an outgrowth of the Gershwin Initiative, which is meant to basically bring the best of scholarly research to bear on their music and present it to the world you know, in as close a possible form as we can come to to represent their goals and intentions as artists. So what we're doing with this performance of Porgy and Bess is we're giving credibility to what George Gershwin wrote. I think one of our challenges is to remove the traditions that have glommed on to this piece and to sort of clean everything away. It's a little like the Sistine Chapel, you know, clearing away all the old darkened paint, bringing it to life again and letting all the bright colors reveal themselves the way he wrote it. The performance on February 17th, it's going to be a performance as a musical event rather than a staged event. We're looking forward to the arrival of the professional singers who will be joining us for the production. Each one of them has had considerable experience. In some cases, they're very well known for the portrayal of the characters in Porgy and Bess. They've done many productions. The level of production, the scale of this production requires sort of an all-hands-on-deck strategy. So I'm really excited that the University Musical Society has agreed to co-present this performance with the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. We're a series that prides itself on bringing great artists from around the world to Ann Arbor, to the University of Michigan campus. It's what we hope the University Musical Society can bring to a project like this. So to have Morris Robinson here, who really is you know, just one of the porgies of record, we're really excited about having Talise here. And to have Janai Berger here, I mean, Janai is just kind of like this shining light right now in the world of great young up-and-coming professional singers, and to have her here as part of this project is really special. My name is Janai Brueger, and I was a grad student here from 2007 to 2009, and I'll be singing the role of Clara. And one of Clara's highlights is, of course, singing Summertime, which is right at the beginning of the opera, so I'm excited. Eight of our student voice majors in our opera and vocal programs will be working with the eight professional soloists who are brought in to sing the, the main title roles. This is a huge opportunity for our students to be able to perform with experienced singers who have done the roles many times. This gives them an opportunity to find out what they really need to do to take that next step once they get out of school, once they graduate. This experience for them will be special in terms of having the opportunity to do the work side by side with singers of a real world class nature who are performing the work at the highest levels in the best opera houses and concert halls around the world right now. These students will leave having built some relationships with Janai, you know, with Morris, with Talise. Those relationships will serve them as they become performing artists out in the world. The other exciting thing is we're doing a whole two-day symposium around race in American culture, and it will start Friday the 16th, the day before the performance. We're going to talk and sort of deconstruct the meanings behind Porgy and Bess, the different reactions that different people have. Some people really feel this is there's a human drama that's kind of universal. Other people find it really attached to sort of controversial issues of minstrelsy and whites representing blacks in American culture. I don't think we're going to come up with a solution to what this means, because it's something we're struggling with today. I think it's a great idea that Michigan is hosting a symposium to go along with Porgy and Bess. People are taking different looks at this piece. It, the piece has had a love-hate relationship with the African-American community. Some love it because it is such a wonderful showcase for African-American artists, but some also don't like being cast only in this work. I think that the symposium gives a chance for you to think about Porgy and Bess in its context.
Porgy and Bess is not just a nostalgia piece about the past. There are actually so many ways in which Porgy and Bess has the urgency of now. I mean, it really resonates with our lives and the issues we're struggling with about race and gender and class and the fairness and justice of our social system in the United States and in the world that are so present and so contemporary. At the same time, this is a piece from 1935. It's an incredible opera and one really worth you know, investing in because it's still a tool by which we can learn about ourselves today. Thank you.